Divi Project. Visit for your one-click master node staking and fiat off and on-ramp solutions. Don't forget to check out Mono Token from MonoToken.io, the complete your solution desktop device and also check out monarch pay if you're a small business and looking to accept crypto and we're live all right hey how goes it i'm ken bozak here to talk about bitcoin and bitcoin accessories and today i'm here with my bro bro we're going to be talking about traveling with crypto uh i'm going to let him introduce himself because i have an american tongue and i don't want to butcher this poor man's name uh bro uh, please introduce yourself to the audience at first just let them know who you are maybe how you got into crypto and what you're doing now in the industry uh, I am Satoshi Nakamoto, co-founder This guy is a fucking scammer! <laughs> <laughs> I like okay, this so guy. Yeah, kidding. <laughs> so my name is Ganendra Khatka, uh, founder and CEO of Excel Trip. Actually, like I was born in Nepal and like recently in San Francisco. So Nepal, you climb Mount Everest? You ever climb it? Uh, actually, I haven't climbed the Mount Everest, but I have been to the highest lake in the world last month in oh, Nepal. Oh, there you go. It was like it was like six days trekking. It was amazing. How did you get into crypto, though? Like, what was your rabbit hole experience? How did you get involved? Uh, actually, like uh, it was an accident, I can say, because like uh, back in 2013, I was into like uh, investment uh, business. I really invested like some amount in uh, like uh, one company in the U.S. and I lost money. Mm. Yeah, that's how like uh, I came to U.S. and tried to sue him to recover my funds and all right. And that's how I got to know about Bitcoin. And like, I was lucky to buy some Bitcoin like at uh, that time. Okay, so damn, yeah, dude, that's, not like a, that's a happy accident though. Like a lot of people you know, that get into the oh, space. Yeah. It's not like, you know, that's, so you stuck around even after yeah. getting scammed. Yeah. Because, and, and I went back to Thailand again because I used to have hotel business in Thailand. Right. And, uh, and it was not going good. And like in back in like 2014 and I sold my all three hotels and put some money in cryptocurrency and I started trading. Right. And uh, funding some startup, Yes, uh, like uh, uh, companies, and that's how I started my career, yeah. Nice, man. So I see you got the Travel with Crypto shirt on. Let's talk a little bit about that. How did that become a, uh, a concept to build a company off top of? Okay, uh, the, because the thing is like I was doing uh, like a crypto trading like back in 14 and 15 and investing some amounts in like startups. And while I was investing in other company minds and concept, so I decided to have my own like uh, company or, or platform that I can invest myself, right? And that's how like, I was thinking uh, for uh, like a platform or e-commerce or the travel. Uh, since I used to run my hotel business in Bangkok, Thailand, right? And I I, I used to be like uh, uh, traveling a lot, right? It's like maybe like more than two hundred uh, days every year, right? Damn. Okay. So. Yeah, and I used to use Bitcoin to book hotel in uh, Expedia. Expedia was said, one of the best places to use Bitcoin when I first got into it. Yeah. It was actually like yeah. one of the companies that blew my mind that even accepted it. But yeah, I mean, there's there's issues there. They so stop it now, right? Yeah. And and that's how I started, that's how I started like uh, planning for like a travel platform. And in 2016, so I registered company in the U.S. instead of bank accounts and. I started like hiring engineers back in Nepal and India, Bangalore. And uh, once I set up my engineering team, so I hired my executive. That's how I started investing. And so far, so far, like it's been like three years and we remain self-funded. So we did not do any ICO. So I keep investing myself. Oh, in the well, company. that's so where you fucked up. You should have done an ICO. No, 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 don't do it. But all right. So wait, I, I want to get in on that though. Why did you decide not to do an ICO? Because that was one of the, the most popular uh, options at the time, right? And you decided against that. Yeah, because like everybody was talking about uh, like a bubble. Bitcoin is bubble. But what I thought back in 16 is Bitcoin is not a bubble, but ISO is a bubble. Yes. Right? Yes. And and second thing is now if we look at now, 
like there were like hundreds of ICO raising hundreds of million or billions of dollar. They are not in the market now, right? They scam yes tens of thousand people and they are not in the market market now. Absolutely so, not one. I mean, wait, maybe I think two, right? Ethereum and saw, BNB are like the only real successful maybe ICOs. Maybe you lost money. I lost money. Tens of thousands of people lost money, right? Yep. And if we I had done ICO is I could have raised tens of million dollar. Maybe I wouldn't be here today talking to you. Yeah, you'd be because, on a beach somewhere scamming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe I've been, uh, maybe the, uh, uh, this time I should be like enjoying in the island, yes, or driving a nice car. But I, I invested everything from my pocket so I have that pain. So I work like 25 hours a day, right? Yes, for my company, yes, for this mission. That's why we are still here in the market and try to disturb this industry. Makes sense, man. No, that's absolutely. Yeah. So uh, I just wanted to touch in on like some of the solutions. So like what problems does the legacy travel industry have and what solutions can a blockchain based travel industry uh, provide? Okay, uh, there, there, are same, there, there are many problems from consumer to vendors, vendor misplaced property side, because our travel industry is the third largest industry in the world. It is like $7 trillion like uh, industry, right? But there are only three major OTA. OTA means online travel aggregator controlling, yes, more than 70% of the entire market. Experia alone, has more than $90 billion sales every year. Priceline or Agora has more than $60 billion sales every year, right? But like every year, nobody knows where $4 billion is missing. Yep. Because the problem is, let's say I'm from Nepal. I use bank card of Nepal. So every bank has a different like a uh, rate, right? Yes, and our Nepali or every currency is controlled by US dollar, right? And every central bank has a different, and there is a fee, the merchant fee, processing fee, right? Yep. Payment gateway fee. There is a bank transfer fee, right? And like I book hotel now and the hotel gets payment in the next two to three weeks, right? And the, after two to three weeks, there is another price fluctuation, right? So nobody knows where that $4 billion is missing and we are here to solve that problem, just tokenizing this like platform, number one. Number second is like a company like Xperia and Priceline or Agora or Booking.com, right? Charging up to 25% fee to the hotels, yep. properties. That's the reason users are spending a lot of money. It's been very expensive for them, right? And, and one day everybody travel, right? Even the kid, yes, who is like one year old now, it will travel after 15 years back, right? So the thing is, travel is being very expensive and everybody loves to travel this time so we are here to cut that middleman system yes and that's the reason now we are onboarding hotel and property around the world with zero percent fee we don't charge any percentage to the hotels so hotel will sell their hotel in any dollar means hotel is going to receive any dollar back in their account okay. so we are not so, so this is sort of like the uh, the opposite of like what Airbnb was kind of doing because Airbnb, they yeah. disrupted the travel industry, but they ended up making it sort of a bubble. Everything started to cost more because of their solutions. Yeah, what Airbnb did is they, they were a disruptor. They really disrupted the market, but yeah. they robbed the people, uh, exactly. vendors and customers at the end, right? So, and the thing is like the, the second problem is like there is a big gap between consumers, guests and the hotel because of this middleman system. So we are trying to connect consumer directly with the hotel. So we are just a platform. You can book hotel and fly in our platform, but we are connecting you directly with the hotel. So once, the, once you make the payment, the payment goes to the hotel directly. So there is no middleman system yes, uh, between the consumer and the hotel. So if I have an issue, uh, you know, using Expedia or anything else and, you know, I get to the hotel, we were talking a little bit off air here and, you know, we were mentioning like if you get to the hotel and they give away your room, it's a long process to get your refund because you have to go to the middleman. You can't just go right to the hotel where you're actually at at the moment. 
yeah first what first hotel will tell you sorry you use third party so we cannot do anything please call them and you have to like uh be on the call more than 30 minutes or one hour right yep. and sometimes you, you will not be able to get on the call and once you get on the call again they send you email they said they will call you back after a few days you have to check account there are a lot of troubles yeah right so yeah. we are here to fix that problem right we're here to fix that problem and the second and, and another problem is the payment solution payment settlement because let's say like i book hotel expedia gets the money right i i check in the hotel i check out the hotel but hotel does not receive money in the next two to three weeks. They have to wait, but they have to pay their rent and salary to the staff, right? They have to run. So what we're doing is we are trying to uh, make that settlement within three days. So, so is this, how, how do you talk to a, a company about this? Like if say I was a, a, a hotel or uh, something to that effect, what is the conversation like? How do we on ramp the legacy travel companies into this new era? How do we get them on the conversation? Uh, because the thing is like they are already uh, facing problem with the, with the like uh, OTA platform like Xperia, but they have no other choice, right? They have to be there. They have to follow their rules. They have to really follow their strict, okay, compliant policy and agreement because they have no other way to sell their rooms, right? But, and there are no other competitors like Excel Trip coming in the market and telling them, hey, we don't charge any fee. We give you payment very fast. We will connect your customer directly with you. There are no other company in the space talking to them. So they have no other ways. So we are trying to like uh, replace the whole situation. So, with the, the blockchain. The, so basically the middlemen here is the travel agency as opposed to the banks. Like Bitcoin replaces middlemen in the banking industry. And what you're doing with Excel is trying to replace the yeah. middlemen of the travel agency. So uh, uh, where does the currency come into play here with the blockchain? I see it's XC. E L Excel trip. Where does the token and blockchain technologies come into play? What what role does the token play in this? Okay, the thing is that what we are doing now is like we are accepting cryptocurrency as a mo made a mode of payment from the consumer side, but we are still making settlement in fear to the hotels and airlines because hotel and airline doesn't accept cryptocurrency now, right? right? They don't accept now. Yeah, we need fiat but, off and on ramps for that. Yeah, so we are, we are taking that risk, right? And we are doing the settlement ourselves from our side. But yes, while doing that, we are also talking to hotel all the time and trying to convince them to accept settlement in Bitcoin or Ethereum, right? Same time, because it takes time. It's a long process. It takes maybe five to 10 years. Every hotel will not accept. So we have to convince them. So we have over, like, maybe we have a few hundred hotels. They are okay to accept like settlement in like a uh, Bitcoin or Ethereum, right? Because they, be, they are true believers. They believe, yes, uh, in Bitcoin and Ethereum. So that's how we are trying to convert those hotels from peer to uh, cryptocurrency. And when that happens, yes, you uh, we are directly connecting between your wallet and the vendor wallet. So a smart contract uh, will control. For example, uh, you book the hotel now, right? And you and uh, your money will go, come and stay in the smart contract until you check out. Okay, and so you check in escrow smart, that's awesome. Yeah, and when you check out and, uh, and the engine understand that the customer is already check out, when that event happens and the smart contract will release your phone back to the hotel account. Okay. So, so that makes me, I'm the first person to try to be like a bad actor in thought, right? Like I try to think like the bad guy in every situation so I can be ready for that. So to be that person, just the, uh, the devil's advocate, how do we stop somebody from taking advantage of this smart contract by not checking out? What if I just leave the hotel and I never check out? How do they get that uh, smart contract to trigger the funds that they're owed? 
okay yeah because because we have discussed a lot about that because that kind of situation can might happen right i've done it and before one, i've forgotten to check out of a hotel i forgot to check out of a hotel i fly home and yeah. they charge me for the three days i wasn't even there because i forgot to check out okay but the thing is number one is we are taking that risk number one but when you move you book the hotel and make payment in bitcoin for tomorrow right so either you have to cancel the hotel if you are not going you have to cancel the hotel that is the smart contract will understand that you only cancel the hotel then that fund will be reversed back to your account right but you don't cancel the hotel and you are not checking in but next day 6 pm our system understand that you as a guest did not do anything right means system understand that you check in and you checked out and the phone will uh, be sent back to the uh, vendor's wallet oh wow well. so it, this you're, is, you're basically trying to automate the check in check out as well so like yeah, if i don't if i don't check in the smart contract yeah. it executes and everybody gets a refund yeah so and th this is the solution that we have now but we were also talking about validation process that's what Ethereum was talking about voting process and validation process, right? So maybe when we launch our one blockchain end of 2020, right? So we are also trying to put node and validator. So when that kinds of issue happens, right? So validator will play the roles and decide whether oh, to send the funds back to so, a refund. So, so this, that is, this is a gamification that process. Is, that is, yeah, that will come in play when we release our one blockchain end of 2020. So basically, this is a gamification security model where you get participants to be the validators. Yeah. All right. That makes sense. I like that. Yeah. A lot of projects are using this concept, too. And I feel like I've mentioned this yeah. a lot. A lot of projects that are popping up, if you can't figure out how to gamify your platform, monetize it and incentivize it, it will die. So uh, the gamification yeah. aspect is very important to have in a, in a newer, when you're thinking blockchain okay. and, uh, and entity. And you're talking about, yeah, since you are talking about incentivize, right? So what are they, we are, we are also trying to revolutionize the loyalty program, loyalty system. Now here, every time someone book hotel with Ethereum, Bitcoin, or my token, we have our own token, Excel token, right? So uh, you will receive uh, cash back up to 50% in our token. Then you can use our token and book hotel and flight again, or you can go to uh, exchanges and trade, or you can hold it, or you can also like use it in other like uh, uh, platform that accept our token, okay. right? So, yeah. so basically you're making a, uh, you're, you're basically using Excel as a loyalty or rewards point for using your platform and Sorry. using your currency. Did you say 15 yeah. or 50? Fifth, up to 50%. 50 percent. First time, first time user will, yeah. First time user will That's receive 50% cash back. Second time you will receive 25% cash back. After third time you'll receive 15% cash back lifetime. Okay. So that, this is how this is how we created 50 billion Excel token because travel industry is huge. Seven billion people will travel one day, right? Sooner or later. So we have sufficient like tokens to incentivize the travelers in the future. Yeah, you got to incentivize that, man, and especially incentivize the utility of the actual currency yeah. you're creating too. Yeah, that's, and the thing is, like, and, and I'm with like, you. Uh, somebody in the chat, pure tips. He just said that that's going to get abused, and I do, I do think along the malicious lines. Uh, you know, obviously you're ready for that, but are there anything that you can think of now? Like, because obviously the blockchain hasn't launched, things like that haven't been, you know. But uh, are there anything that you're, any problems you're working on to provide solutions for so people cannot abuse the token? Okay, the thing is like there, there are always ways to abuse the token, right? But what oh, yes. we are doing is because token without use case is a scam fake, number one. Facts. Okay, any, any token or cryptocurrency that doesn't have any use case because cryptocurrency is a money, it, it is a currency, it's a money. You should be able to spend your crypto token or coin just the way you spend your paper money. 
just the way you swipe your credit card, right? So that token must have mass adoption, utility value, right? not just the security value, utility value, so you can spend your token just the way you spend with your paper money, right? So when the token has that spending power, spending capacity or usability, there won't be much like violation, okay? There won't be much like uh, distraction of the tokens because they, can, they will trust the token the way they trust their gold and dollar. Okay, and they will not just throw their token because token has a real value. They can really use it just for a hotel booking. And we have also built Excel Pay Wallet. Okay, okay. it's a fully centralized wallet. And in uh, McAfee, John McAfee language is unhackable. <laughs> okay. okay, okay, unhackable. Okay, yeah. And uh, it's just like Trust Wallet. And we have also mobile top up features in built on the wallet. It's called Excel Pay Wallet, okay? So you can use Bitcoin, Ethereum, or our token, Excel token, and top up mobile phone across 900 telecom operators worldwide right now. Telecom May, right now. Right now, you can you can go to my wallet, Excel Pay Wallet, use Bitcoin or my token that you receive in cash back and top up your mobile phone. So, so I can I can wait, 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 time out. I can use my reward. So if I use the Excel token to book a room, I get 50% back in Excel. I can then use that Excel in the wallet to pay for my phone bill. Yeah. True. And you already it's have these partnerships accepting it? Already except we that are we already pretty damn badass. It works now. We build it. It works now. That's why we are in the market three years building the platform. Other world is scamming people, raising funds to buy nice car, right? And jewelry, we are building the platform to bring mass adoption for the entire crypto community. Dude, I have to say congratulations. Not only did you survive a bear market, one of the worst bear markets in, in crypto history, but you've also uh, had a lot of progress in partnerships, not even just in the travel industry, but also in telecom. That is uh, pretty badass, man. And I do want to mention to people, we talked about you know the ICO stuff earlier and why people end up leaving because of the ICOs. They raise so much money during an ICO that they actually made more money during the ICO than the company itself is actually worth. So the they people over evaluate a lot of projects by participating in an ICO. The people that have these ICO tokens don't believe yeah. in the project. So they end up selling those tokens on the market for a profit, which only hurts the project that ended up releasing the ICO tokens. And that is why almost every ICO yeah. project that has raised millions of dollars has left because they've already made more money raising the money than they would running the project. Hey, thanks, True. Steve, and for the subscribe. To, I appreciate it. They don't know how to, and they don't know how to build a platform. The intention was not to build a platform. Intention was to raise money. That's it. Yep. Because maybe, maybe he has he has a beautiful daughter, and they need to marry, and they need some funds for marriage, right? Ceremony and party. They need they need to like uh, try one ICO to raise funds. Maybe they are in debt and need to pay back to banks. And they did ICO to raise money and pay back to banks. You're right. A lot of the projects, they release an ICO <laughs> knowing that there will never be a utility for that token. Uh, yeah. So the, and, and the, the biggest part is what we are talking is Excel tree platform is not only for my token. Excel tree platform is for the entire crypto community. So we are welcoming major versatile cryptocurrency and we accept. For example, we already partnered with Litecoin. There, there was an announcement. So now, and so Litecoin community can book hotel in our plan. We partner with Dash, we partner with Verse Currency, right? So it means we are opening our door to those versatile cryptocurrency, right? So yeah, you're not so trying to make have, a bottleneck so people have to use Excel. It's an option yeah. and it has an incentive to use that yeah. option, but it's not mandatory. Yeah, so we incentivize in our token, but we are happy to accept every crypto token that has a liquidity, that has like community, right? And which has a real vision, yes? 
So we are happy to welcome any kinds of token or crypto that has a real value and genuine project. What were some of the uh, like legalities that you had to kind of jump through hoops for? Like I know there's a lot of legal issues, a lot of um, uh, I would say like uh, regulations involved with uh, using cryptocurrencies and stuff like that. What were some of the issues that you had to battle the past three years to stay where you're at today? Oh, I think we may have lost them. Hello. Well, that's that's awkward. Yeah, I was just curious, like, you know, what kind of issues he could be running into and what issues he already ran into and got past, you know, because, I mean, if it was this easy, I would imagine more people would be doing this. And uh, I know that Cheap Air and Expedia, Travala, they all accept cryptocurrencies. So I'm just wondering if we can get into that conversation of, what the differences is right between uh, Excel travel and uh, things like Travala, Cheap Air, Expedia, um, you know, uh, the, the, the issues with this is a lot of the times the fiat off ramps. There we go. I was filibustering. Oh. Um, I was filibustering while you were gone. So basically the question was like, what problems did you run legally? Like with regulations or anything like that? Like the fiat off and on ramps to get these companies their money directly? Uh, I'm just wondering because it's been a long three years in crypto. This is like 30 years in regular fiat life. What were some of the legal issues that you had to overcome? God damn it. Somebody get this dude better Wi-Fi. What is happening? Hello? All right, what are you saying? Pure trips, uh, everyone has the mindset of, I make the, I have to make profit and not believe in or wait for use case. That is true, man. Uh, pure trips is right, pure tips is right. Like. People definitely have that mindset and it's not everybody, but it is the majority of the people involved in this space right now. Um, hey, did you end up hearing the question? I'm sorry. I, I know we keep having internet issues. And it happened again. All right. Well, I think we might have to wrap things up early here, bro. I'll give him one more shot. <laughs> Lag switch. <laughs> Yo, dude, I remember I had a lag switch for Call of Duty, bro. I definitely had a lag switch. I was that dude. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I got you. Maybe if you turn off your video, the internet might stay on, but we'll see what happens. Okay. So when I got into Bitcoin back in 2013, I knew I am into unregulated market. Number yeah, one. the wild, wild west. Yeah. Yes. And number two, when I started. Oh, this Wi-Fi. Uh, uh, Excel tree back regulated market, right? Okay. I'm into unregulated market, right? So the thing is, I know there might be a lot of. Uh, Maybe if I turn the video off, it'll be better. Hmm. Yeah, we're just having uh, audio issue, uh, internet issues right now. Yeah, it's not my internet. Hello? Yeah, Hello. You know, there you go. Okay. Uh, yeah, you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. So 
Yeah, so I said there might be a lot of challenges and compliance issues coming in the future from different locations and countries. And we are happy and ready to fight for that. And I know, yes, uh, like because like government, they will not regulate your business or your idea or your technology until your technology disrupts the market. Yeah, exactly. exactly. And we will, yes, yeah. Until and unless like uh, until like the, the government is yes uh, ready to challenge us, we will be we should be in a good shape to fight back and protect our technology and innovation and idea. Yeah, there's definitely going to be. I mean, that's that has yet to really come, I guess, right? Like the whole regulation compliance uh, hurricane hasn't really set yet, set winds yet, because it hasn't. Uh, you haven't fully started to disrupt, right? You're only in the process of. So yeah, I guess like the most of the problems have yet to really uh, present themselves. Yeah, and and the thing is like, uh, and the thing is like, and the thing is like, back in '16, we started Excel trip from U.S. California, San Jose. But the regulation was very bad, yes, in the US and US government was not supportive. SEC was like sending subpoena to over 200 like people, right? In Damn. Including attorneys. And that's the moment we decided to move our company from California to Singapore. All right, and, wait, and time also, out. I want to I wanna highlight this. I want to highlight this. This is happening to okay. multiple companies in the United States. The uh, the government regulators yes. and compliance issuers are forcing companies that that are cemented here, like your company, and forcing you to leave America and go to another country like Singapore. That is a wealth, brain, yes. and economic drain on our country, and that will present itself very, very broadly in the next few years. And I want to say thank you, America thank is- you for for basing your company in the United States. And I also want to say sorry that yeah. you had the fucking. And America leave. is losing that. America is losing that opportunity, and China is uh, trying to like uh, uh, like uh, grab this opportunity, yes, right? Yes, they are. So, and they're doing a damn good job at it. Yeah. So I just wanted to say thanks for that, man, because a lot of companies they don't even try to uh, LLC or become a, an entity in the US and at least you tried yeah. and then the government basically forced you out. They said, we don't want your business. Yeah. How stupid is that? Yeah, but we are coming back to US in January 2020 and fight together. Respect, <laughs> bro, respect. Yes. Yeah, yeah, come back to America. And you're right. It's definitely going to be a fight. And we have to fight together as a community, not just for, you know, Bitcoin to beat the yeah. banks, but we need blockchain to beat the legacy systems in general. We need we need this. We need open source information. We need these open ledgers. We need validation for a lot of these companies that are just running around. Like you mentioned, millions and billions of dollars being made and nobody can be accounted for for where it goes. They're scared, man. Like when it, when we say disrupting, we really mean disrupting. There's a lot of middlemen that make a lot of money in between a lot of industries, and all of those people, they better be scared. Yeah, and and, and definitely now, Expedia company like Expedia are very scared of us. Ex- scared of Excel Trip. <laughs> well, uh, somebody in the chat did mention uh, Travala and things like Cheap Air, but I don't believe that they're using blockchain uh, for the smart contract use utility that you're using for booking the rooms and things to that effect. They're just using cryptocurrencies at the portal for, for purchasing, but they're not utilizing blockchain technology for any of the, the industry utilities that they accept crypto for. Yes, we are the first blockchain-based travel platform in the world. So uh, w- when it comes to disrupting uh, industries, what are some of the uh, the pushbacks that you're afraid that you will receive uh, when it comes to like compliance and regulations in the future? Uh, what I'm th- thinking is like due to uh, the zero percent like uh, fee to the OTA, we might be facing like price parity issues, number one. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. We get the same hotel list their property in other like Expedia, and they the same hotel list in our platform. 
system, but our system is completely different than the X media, right? So there might be like uh, price parity issues, right? And there might be like uh, 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 crypto because we are trying to do settlement in completely in cryptocurrency, right? So there might be issues with the financial institutions. Right, right? If, if a hotel is accepting Bitcoin for a room and Bitcoin goes up 75%, that could be a, a tax issue for the hotel potentially. Yeah, and, yeah, and audit and taxes and issues. Uh, but what I believe is in the next five to 10 years, right? If everything will be in place and there won't be any issues because government is looking at it, financial institution is looking at it. So I think by the time we disrupt the market and we become big, right, the market will be ready. So, yeah, I mean, why worry about things that don't exist yet that may never exist anyway? That, that makes yeah. sense. And that's the yeah. thing I, I talk to a lot of uh, a company, you know, uh, CEOs, co-founders and things to that effect of projects in the blockchain industry. And they actually they tie their own hands behind their backs because they're afraid of future regulations or potential compliant issues that don't exist yet, but they might one day. And it's basically like living in, in a prison that you're the warden of, like you're putting yourself in a box because of the potential of, of getting out of it. And the, the risk reward ratio of the what ifs, it's the reward is because exponentially the is, higher. Because the thing is yeah, because, because the thing is how Mark Zuckerberg started Facebook, there was no regulation. Still, he's facing data security issues, right? Yes, he's exactly. still facing. So when, when Uber started, they did not think about law and regulation. They brought the law and regulation. They fought because yep. it was all about community. It was all about community and simplicity, right? Because what Bitcoin and blockchain has brought into the world is one of the biggest ever, yes, biggest ever people's war. It, this this is the biggest people's war against the government public policy, right? Against the global economy, right? Because why? Because this industry, crypto and blockchain, is backed by over hundred million community now, and it is it will be backed by billion community in the future in the next five to ten years. So when a one billion community accepting, adapting cryptocurrency and blockchain, no any government and financial institution say, hey, sorry, we we cannot accept you, because right. yes, so we are we are backed by hundreds of million community across the globe. Yeah, I mean, so you this said will it best. happen. Like when when the Uber when Uber popped up. The government wanted to regulate and they wanted to throw some some compliance issues their way. But I, I feel like even with Uber technology and things to that effect, they were so disruptive that regulations couldn't stifle the innovation of the technology. And we're talking about decentralized technologies that literally could give no fucks about regulation. You cannot regulate blockchain technologies. So yeah. regulations are, are something of the past, I believe. Like people... People think regulations and, and compliance issues and, and the things that go by government law matter in blockchain. And I'm telling you right now, anything the government says does not matter in blockchain technologies. The technology will never bend to the will of any yeah. regulator ever. Yes. So because unless and until we ask and request, request and demand, government will not do anything else. So we have to do it ourselves. So we have to do it. I know, right? We are going to face troubles and issues. Yes, in the future, maybe, but we are okay. We are ready to fight for this industry, for this mission. Dude, that's that's crazy, man. Like I'm I'm just stuck on the whole like concept of using like smart contracts to book rooms, utilizing the Excel token to book my room, getting my it, my my basic my incentive to use it is the game theory factor of I'll get I'll get a percentage back and I don't even have to use that token. I could sell it on a third party exchange for Bitcoin or whatever, fiat, or I could use it to pay my phone bill. I mean, there's a lot going on. Is there anything that you're looking to uh, to actually add as an addition utility to the token outside of travel and telecom? Uh, yes, because since we are building ecosystem for mass adoption, 
right? So we already we are also adding gift card purchase on our wallet, Excel Pay wallet, right? And we are also working on other platform because we have huge seventy five plus engineers working in house, and oh, they so need job. Nice. Yeah, we don't use any third party solution. It's a blockchain, right? Yes, it's a blockchain. Security should be there. So we have our one in house engineers, right? And they are working tirelessly, tirelessly to secure the platform and increase larger utilities and use cases. Yes, within the ecosystem. So we are working on like other platform, right? I don't want to like uh, 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 till right now. I don't want to disclose, but we are working on. Uh, other platform is for crypto mass adoption is within the uh, Excel trip ecosystem. All right. I'm looking at the, uh, the website right now. I'm going to, I'm going to pull that. Hey, thanks for the super chat. Hey, whoa, 10 bucks, bro. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, I brought up the website here. So this is how the website looks. And as you can see, guys, it looks very similar to, you know, most uh, travel sites that you're used to using already. So I don't think it's going to be much of a, a user uh, curve here. And uh, right here, you can see the application is available on Google and Apple. I'm going to check out the, uh, the application myself and uh, let you guys check that out too. Let me know what you guys think of the, uh, the platform, the application in the comment section. And wait, I see Manny Pacquiao here. Help us save lives one crypto at a time. And Manny Pacquiao is getting involved in cryptocurrency. I saw that the, uh, the uh, blockchain yeah, magazine Excel. and uh, Verge currency is working with him and stuff. So Yes, Excel, 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 Trip, Excel Trip also partnered with Manny Pacquiao Foundation. So maybe we could talk a little bit about that. What's Manny Pacquiao doing with his foundation utilizing cryptocurrencies and what role does Excel play in helping him? Okay, so Manny Pacquiao Foundation is a social welfare organization. So they are building almost like 1,000 houses for poor people, for needy people, for those who lost their homes during earthquake, yes, or flood in Philippines. Okay. Right? Yeah. And that's the reason they are raising funds in themselves in the market, and they are also raising funds in cryptocurrency. Actually, this was the initiation uh, by Bitcoin, like a, a Manny Pacquiao Foundation, John and the uh, Mark, who is also our advisor, Mark and Lloyd from uh, Canada, right? So this was his, so I want to thank like Mark for this amazing association association with Ma, Manny Packer Foundation. We also donated like two million our token, yes, for a cause, and we are doing our best to raise fund for Manny Packer because they are trying to do yes settlement, yes a transaction in cryptocurrency, and maybe yes uh, because uh, uh, cryptocurrency is okay in Philippines, right? So they can like donate cryptocurrency to the like uh, homeless people the way Binance Charity is giving food in Africa. Wow, man, that is like much respect to you, uh, Excel and uh, Manny Pacquiao. And I mean, community, if you guys want to, you know, want to get involved with helping mass adoption, it doesn't it isn't just getting your mom and your sister or your cousin or your nephew it's not getting just you know people that are in arms reach involved it's also helping the world at the same time and showing that this technology can help change the world not just make you rich so uh if you're interested in helping with mass adoption go check out manny pacquiao's uh charity and donate a couple satoshis uh you know use the excel platform to book your next room and when you get your excel back Use that to donate to the, the charity and show the world that we're not just here to get rich quick. We're here to bring everybody up with us. You know, the, the rising tide raises yeah. all ships thing, right? We, like, let's let's keep that going because that's amazing what Pacquiao's we, doing. We, yeah. So Manny Pacquiao and we, including you, are the sugar daddy for mass <laughs> adoption and crypto donation. I try, man. I mean, I, I try to get every... <laughs> I, I try to use crypto and not just hodl it. And I feel like in my opinion, and this may get me in trouble, but I believe that hodling is what's holding back mass adoption. It, it's, it's holding us back in, yeah, in a, a severe yeah. way. It's affecting the course of this technology's mass adoptive potential yeah. because people just want to hoard it and hold it all to themselves. That's why, that's why, that's why I encourage 
everyone involved in cryptocurrency, yes, to use the Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever cryptocurrency they have, I encourage them to use it on a daily life, yep. daily activity. That's what I do. Right? I use I use it's cryptocurrency so every day. Every yeah. day I yes. spend it. Yeah, let's prove everyone that it is a money. It's not just a security, right? It's not just a utility. It's just not a mode of payment. It's a money. It's a real money. Let's prove the world, government, financial institution, and friends and family that is the real money just like your paper money, just like dollar, just like Nepali rupee, just like PayPal, yes, money, right? Yep. It's the money. So I mean, we need to help this industry establish. So I encourage everyone, and I am the man, I don't put money, fiat in the bank account anywhere around the world. Every month on the 22nd, when I need to pay my office rent and salary, I sell my crypto and make sure they receive their phone in fiat because they have to pay their rent and food, right? Yep. But because the thing is, when you put your money in bank, it, 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 it doesn't grow. There is no appreciation value, right? But but you put everything in crypto. I, I put almost 99% my assets in crypto, right? And every time I need to buy land, Okay, I take out money from crypto. I need to pay salary, I sell my crypto, right? I need to pay rent, I sell my crypto. I need to buy a car, maybe I sell my crypto. Yes, whatever, like the laptop I have, the watch I wear, the mobile I use. Yes, everything is bought by Bitcoin because in the US, I use GYFT gift card, GYFT gift app. I use Bitcoin to buy gift cards Yes, even my wife buy her makeup in anything, any any items, yes, using gift card because I gift her gift card from gift GYFT. That's what I do. I maybe mean, I try, to, maybe. I try to educate people on how I use yeah. cryptocurrency. And I mean, I use crypto as money. And because I buy things, goods and services with cryptocurrency, I get money off of things. I end up saving money because I use crypto as money. I, on average, I save 10 to 20% on everything across the board. Uber, Amazon, my flights. I use crypto to purchase things and the incentive is usually a, a percentage off of the or a, a kickback like what you're doing with Excel. So uh, I'm probably going to book my next flight with Excel. I'm going to use the platform and show people I'm saving money using crypto as money and they can too. Now, here's an example and this probably doesn't sound the best, Thank but you. but my mom does not hold Bitcoin. My mom doesn't hodl cryptocurrencies. She doesn't trade, she doesn't invest, but she does use Bitcoin. My mom buys goods and services and things like that with cryptocurrency because she knows she can save money using crypto as money. So purse.io my mom will use bitcoin yeah. to buy anything on amazon yeah so yes. the, the gift card the gift cards are a great idea uh especially with the yes, fact I'm that good. i could use excel because i'm getting you know 50 percent, 25 percent, 15 percent cash back in value of excel i could use that to buy a gift card for uh uber or you know get my friend makeup or go out to you know eat like Using this as a money is probably the best thing you can do for mass adoption. So just if there's platforms that you use like Expedia, you could use the same type of platform, but you know, you're contributing to mass adoption by utilizing a crypto platform like Excel. So I, I implore you people to start using these alternative means and let the public know your opinion on them. The facts behind it is you're going to be able to get more for your value out of utilizing these technologies. And that is the most disruptive part. That's what these companies, the legacy industries are terrified of is you waking up to the fact that they've been skimming off the top for years, decades even, and everybody has been okay with it because there was no alternative. Now they no longer have those monopolies in every industry. We're disrupting every industry and to disrupt the world, you have to, you have to, you have to make the option, right? It's no one's forcing you to use crypto to purchase your flight. The U.S. government is forcing you, at least trying to force you, to use their fiat dollars to purchase your flight. You have the option. You have the alternative. Choose to use the technologies that best provide value for your portfolio. You want to get rich quick? Start using this shit. 
Oh, and Ross Ross yeah. McDonald says uh, hello, and he loves you. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you, Ross. And I have reward to for Ross now, and and everyone watching this like uh, live, the live now. I have reward, so uh, they if they download Excel Pay wallet now, they will receive one thousand Excel token and ten cent of Ethereum for gas immediately within 10 minutes right there in their wallet they can download excel pay wallet they can download everyone watching this live can download excel pay wallet they will receive yes uh, 1000 excel token and 10 cent in each year yes within 10 minutes automatically just like that guys check that out man that's awesome and especially with the the gas price like that's pretty cool man like much respect and uh uh, we are giving those who download Excel Pay. We are giving ten cent gas fee in Ethereum, and those and and like uh, uh, after this session, you will select one user among who watches this. They have to share yes your this live video with Excel Trip hashtag Excel Trip and your hashtag. One winner will receive one hundred thousand Excel token reward that you declare. All right, guys, you hear that. So share this live stream or, or retweet or just uh, maybe even download the application. Take a screenshot of your review. Yeah. Tag me yeah. at Kenneth Bozak. Use the hashtag Excel trip and we'll pick one person to get those tokens. And uh, you said how many? 100,000. That's a lot. That's a big number. 100,000 Excel tokens. 100,000. Yeah. And I encourage them to hold for five years. If one Excel token is $50, that of 100,000 is $5 million. And you know what? I, I love to think of like the, the dollar when people evaluate this because in five years, I don't think we'll be seeing the dollar value of anything. I think everything will either be associated to the value of it itself in gold or people will evaluate things paired to Bitcoin. But I think the fiat US dollar pairing that will be gone within five years. People won't be looking at how much is this in dollars. I think people will be looking at how much is this in Satoshis or how much is this in gold uh, because the U.S. dollar is not an equal or equivalent comparison to the scarcity of these digital assets. It's not a fair pairing uh, when they can just print as many dollars and, and, as they want. And you, and you know the problem, the most people have now problem I meet every day, hey, Oh yeah, Bitcoin is expensive. I cannot buy. They don't know they can buy even one Satoshi. They can buy Bitcoin of hundred dollar, five dollar, ten dollar. I encourage everyone to invest at least fifty dollar or ten dollar every day or every month and hold it for the next five years. This will change life. Yep. No, man, I, I agree. I think, and the thing is, like you say, people think they have to buy a whole Bitcoin and. I mean, if you were to even have one dollar worth of Bitcoin back in 2011, that dollar would have been worth hodling onto. Uh, so even if you can only afford to, you know, invest a dollar a, a week or a dollar a month into this speculative environment, uh, you know, history has proven that the risk reward ratio is is beneficial. So I'm not going to sit here and say go mortgage your house or sell your kidney. But if you have a couple dollars that you're going to go buy a scratch off ticket with, or maybe you were yeah, going to go buy a pair of new but shoes. I sold like, my hotels. What did you I, sell? I sold my I sold my hotels. I got a loan from bank and put money in Bitcoin or cryptocurrency. You sold your uh, Bangkok hotels for Bitcoin? Yeah, I sold Bangkok, I sold Bangkok hotels. I got loan from Nepal from banks because my house is not going to give me any profits, right? Right. So I, I encourage everyone to take that risk, that level of risk and wait for another five to 10 years and they will see the changes. I, I agree. I totally agree. And that could be said for damn near anything in this space right now. It's so much potential, but people are so impatient. And I think that's because we live in the instant gratification error where like 
I mean, even myself, if I see a pinwheel on a website because it's buffering, I get more frustrated than I rightfully should. And I think people do the same thing when they look at their portfolio. They get a little bit more impatient than they rightfully should. And those emotions affect their stance in the market. And just don't involve your emotional money. If you're starting to get very emotional about the market, you might have too much skin in the game. Take some skin out of the game until you're at the point where if it goes down, you're looking at a buying opportunity. You're not looking at it as a loss. Uh, that's, that's how I've been approaching this space since I got involved. And uh, mentally, I've been way more sound than most people I run into that have that instant gratification of, well, you got rich quick. I should get rich quick too. This isn't a get rich quick scheme. This is a uh, get freedom quick scheme, right? We're trying to f build this technology to basically put freedom on the front end, privacy on the front end, and uh, get rid of censorships, get rid of these third party middlemen that just decide what is your fate and what isn't your fate based on their terms and services and your actions in their environments. You know, censorship is is probably one of the biggest problems we have next to privacy and, and the voices of those that are censored, they're not as loud uh, and it happens very slowly. And uh, it's almost like the thing where they come for, they come for my friends, they come for my neighbors, they come for my family, then they come for me. We have to start speaking up the moment they come for the first person because you are inevitably down that line. Um, <laughs> so uh, everybody download that XCEL pay wallet Right there, you see it in the chat. Download Excel Pay Wallet and get a thousand X Lab. That is uh, an a ten cent in Ethereum discount right away, guys. Go ahead and check it out. Appreciate everybody in the live chat. Uh, where can everybody go to find you and get involved? Do you have Slack, Discord? Uh, where can people get in touch with you and get involved with the project? Great. <clears throat> So I was just saying, I'm sorry if the audio got cut up. I was just wondering if you could tell people where to find you and where they can get involved in Excel. Okay, so yeah. So uh, my Twitter is uh, tweet like a uh, hop cut cut, right? Hey. My Twitter handle, they can follow me. And uh, our Excel trip Twitter is Excel trip. So uh, our website is exceltrip.com is the amount of Excel token you receive when you download Excel Pay Wallet. Maybe you have to top a use Bitcoin, Ethereum, because we also have a split payment. If you don't have sufficient Excel token, you can pay uh, like some in Excel token and you can pay some Ethereum. Maybe you can use this Excel token and pay for your next hotel or flight booking in our platform. Yes, it's exceltrip.com, X-C-E-L-T-R-I-P. And Excel Trip is available in iOS and Android devices, right? And our wallet is Excel Pay Wallet. Yes, its website is excelpay.io. We have Excel Pay Wallet. We have Excel Pay Payment Gateway. We also have a Excel Pay POS, right? And so yeah, you guys can uh, uh, like enjoy these features. This this is completely. Uh, build to increase mass adoption for the entire crypto community. Yeah. All right, man. I appreciate you coming on the podcast. Uh, this was an interesting conversation to say the least. And I know the chat thank enjoyed you, it. So I appreciate everybody coming I... to the chat, man. This was awesome. So uh, I guess to kind of wrap things up and say my farewells to everybody, I do want to say uh, download the wallet. Uh, you'll get your thousand tokens. You'll get the 10 cents off the Ethereum gas price. And we will pick one of you to get 100,000 tokens. All you have to do is tweet at me and make sure you use the hashtag Excel wallet or Excel pay. And uh, we'll make sure we pick one of you on Twitter uh, today at some point. And I really, I'm, I'm, I just want your feedback. So like, just go visit the website, play with it, download the wallet, check it out. Give me your feedback. Let me know what you think because this isn't my my opinion being forced down your throat, right? I want to create a conversation and uh, I want to keep it going. So in the comments underneath the video, let everybody know what your opinion is and we can open the conversation up now that we're off the air. All right, man, I'm going to let you go. I appreciate everything you did, man. I really do. Have a day. Thank you so much. Really appreciate for your dedication and commitment for this industry. I really, I love your that excitement and commitment. Amen. Thank you so much.
This is this is my fam, man. Crypto fam. You're basically my cousin. So uh, I'll see you at the next conference. Yeah, see, see you in Bitcoin 2020. Bitcoin. Oh yeah, San right? Francisco. That's right. Yes, I will be there. We'll be there yeah. together. Yeah, we'll be here together. All yeah. right, guys, look forward to that. Thank yeah, you. look forward to that because I will be with this man in real life, and I'm going to use his platform to fly yeah. and see him. So that's where we're at, guys. All right, we're out of here. Yeah. Have a day. Well, thank you. Goodbye. Monotoken.io, the complete crypto solution. Go ahead and download the Monarch Wallet on your Android or iOS or desktop device today. Don't forget, big shout out to The Divi Project. That is DiviProject.org, your one-click solution for masternode staking, off and on-ramp fiat solutions. Go ahead and check out DiviProject.org.